I had a pencil in my hand all of my life and enjoyed drawing and decided I was going to be an architect. And when I was at Santa Monica College, I, I uh, uh, worked for my father one summer vacation, who was an art director, and did some drawings, actual drawings. So when I got out, he, he kept saying, you know, before you go to Hughes Aircraft, you ought to, you ought to call Fox and see if they need an apprentice. And I said, that's not me anymore. You know, it's, and he says, well, you know, you ought to take a shot at it. And uh, I didn't, but I got a phone call from a chief draftsman at Fox and he said he was looking for an apprentice. And I said, did my father call you? He said, no, no, the boy's in the drafting room. He said, but come in. He says, if you have any drawings, you know, that'd help. So I interviewed, and he said he'd make me an apprentice draftsman. So I started in the art department in 1955 as an apprentice, and three months later he made me a junior, and, and I kept, you know, going up the ladder, and by 1958, I was made an assistant art director, and um, uh, I went on a uh, picture, uh, the greatest story ever told with Richard Day, and all the way through the picture, I was always very close and invited to be, you know, involved in the middle of the picture. Um, Mr. Day quit, and he, um, uh, Stevens asked me to finish the picture. And I, of course, had to talk to my boss, and he said, don't worry about him. He, he was through, it was more than he could handle. He says, but, he says, if you take this job,